happy new year. Welcome back to the vlogs. I took a long break in the month of December because I was actually filming for a TV show, which is really exciting. Um, it was a reality TV show competition for content creators. So, you know, they had Twitch streamers, vloggers, YouTubers, models, actors, dancers, and it was a really cool like project runway slash American Idol-esque TV show that I got to be a contestant of. If you want to hear more about that, I have a main channel video coming out. So make sure to follow along there so you can hear all the details here. I won't get into it on this channel because this is my vlog channel, uh, but I have just been wiped out because I was filming the entire month of December every single day for about 14 hours a day. And then you go home and you have homework and things to film and edit. So it was really exhausting and honestly, I'm still recovering. But that's what today is about. We are getting back into the swing of things. We are resetting, it is the new year, but I also just haven't been home in my apartment for a whole month. So we have some errands to run today to get back on track and I think they'll be pretty fun. And along the way, I might tell you a little bit more details because it's kind of all I've been talking about. When you spend a month with like this group of people and it just encompasses your whole life, uh, little stories might pop up here and there. So for our first errands, we have to drop off some things at the post office. We got to go to Target, grocery shopping, and a couple other fun ones. So let's head out. All right, so our first stop was Target and Starbucks for our first Target Starbucks trip of 2023. Gotta ring in the new year correctly. I don't need too many things from here, but I do need to be in the shopping center. But I am like perusing and look, they already have all the swimsuit stuff up. Although I will say, I do like how they do have more like cover up options. They have like sarong matching sets. So really cute. And it's funny because just this last year, I was looking for a shirt exactly like this. Something a little bit more athletic and I don't know, with the zipper and very good quality. So good to know if I need to come back for swimsuits. But it's, it's January. I don't need a swimsuit right now. I know it's California, but golly. So far I've gotten refillable dish soap as well as another extension cord. I have a lot of things I need to plug in, so I need more. And the last items I'm getting from Target are some body wash, just some makeup remover wipes, as well as this drawer that I'm gonna put under my cabinet and put in some hair products, which I'll show you later. So done with Target. Where's my thumb? There it is. So just got done at Target, but I came to this one because we are now going to Ulta for some hair products. I have some new hair goals this year, including keeping it healthy. And I'm gonna get the Olaplex number three, which is a hair bonding thing. I'll show you. So Olaplex has a lot of products that you can use. I personally like the number three. It is a bond builder, so it's not like a deep conditioner. It actually rebonds re the proteins in your hair. I've had really good success with it. However, a lot of people said it does make their hair fall out doesn't for me so do your research and don't take my recommendation if you don't think it'll actually work but right now we're headed back to the parking lot to park drop all the stuff off it's loud and then we have one more stop in the shopping center so i am at best buy right now because i'm feeling very impulsive and i want to buy a record player mainly because i just recently came into some family heirlooms of records and there's actually a funny story with it from my family, which I'll tell you in a little bit. Um, but I've been wanting a record player for a long time and I was like, you know what? Let's start 2023 off right and buy me a record player. However, the one that I want, they don't have here and they don't have in any stores because it's like the cheapest model. For my first record player, I just wanna like get an introductory one, like $150 one because I don't wanna buy an expensive one and then be like, you know what? I'm not a record person. So they don't have the $150 one. So I'm gonna ask, but I might just end up spending like 250 on a record player, which was not the plan. But like I said, I'm feeling very impulsive. So let's go ask. So hard cut because I got my record player, but boy, was it a fiasco getting this bad boy. But for background on this record player, I grew up with a record player. I have so many home videos sitting on the floor, listening to vinyls with my sister that for years now, I have been trying to look for that exact record player that I grew up with. Cause I know my parents didn't throw it away and I have searched every nook and cranny, every crevasse in their garage and I couldn't find the record player. And <laughs> it's become a joke because we think we may have sold it in a garage sale or something years ago. But for so many years, I've been telling people, don't buy me a record player for Christmas. I don't want a record player. I want my record player but it's just gone. And so this Christmas break, my brother and I decided to split up a lot of the records that my parents did have and kind of just divide evenly our inheritance of vinyl. So I'll play that TikTok now. 
dividing our parents' vinyl records. And for the first pick, Chad goes with... Oh, the Beatles! For the second round pick, we have JC going with... Michael Jackson's Off, Off the, the Wall. wall. Uh, Dad said it was worth a lot of money. <laughs> the third round pick we have... That was already in the <laughs> no pick pile. Okay. I'm going Earth, Wind, and Fire. What do you think? Simon and Garfunkel. Oh, they took the Simon and Garfunkel! Donna Summer or that compilation of Motown hits? No, they, no? they won't pick that one. I think they will. I don't think that. I think you're, you're better off with Donna Summer because she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going with Donna Summer. Woo! With the next pick. No! Dad, you said he wasn't gonna pick it. <laughs> you lied. Either Steve Martin or Lionel. I'm going with Lionel. Pretty good haul. So that is the reason I wanted to finally go and purchase a record player. However, this bad boy here was another fiasco all on its own. And it'll be easier again if I just play the TikTok with the story time in it. <laughs> So I might be the dumbest person alive, but here is my record player saga. In my last video, I inherited some vinyls from my parents, but I didn't have the actual player. I go and I buy a record player, but it didn't work. I called my brother and he asked, well, did you buy speakers for it? And I said, speakers? It's a record player, what do you mean? Apparently I didn't buy an all-in-one, so I went back to Best Buy, I bought some speakers, I bring it back, but I realized I needed an aux cord for the speakers, but my record player had RCA cables. So I go back to Best Buy to buy the adapter, they don't have it. I go to Office Depot because it said that it was in stock, but it was delivery only for a week later and I needed it now. So I go to Guitar Center because they had it, but they closed 10 minutes early, super rude. But the next day I go back to Guitar Center, I get my adapter, plug it in and my record player plays. but this is just a PSA that apparently you need speakers for a record player, and I didn't know that. <laughs> so yeah, I finally got my record player, and this might be a controversial take, but I don't know if I love it. It kind of just feels like I'm streaming music onto speakers. Like, it doesn't feel like I'm listening to a vinyl, and a lot of people said, well, then you meant to get a phonograph. And I'm like, listen, I was feeling impulsive. I didn't do any research, okay? Um, but maybe I should have, because it just, I don't know, it doesn't feel like a record player. It's kind of interesting, but I'm gonna keep playing with it, keep working with it because it is kind of nice. Um, I did get this new record. It is the Stevie Wonder record. And it's kind of like, it's four sides. So two records of all of his hits. And I grew up with this album. So excited for this one. Rocky got me this one over winter break while I was in St. Louis. So thank you, Rocky. So I'm going to put this on um, and adjust to, having a record, I guess. Here's how you do it. First you turn it on. All right. You open it. Uh, oh. Then you put it on and then you hit start. So we got it spinning over here and then playing in the speakers over here. So worth the fiasco at least. <laughs> It's a new day and I have a lot on my to-do list. I have to film a bunch of stuff because I haven't filmed in over a month. That includes these vlogs, my main channel videos, as well as TikToks. So because I was on this reality show, which was a competition for content creators, it comes out in March or April. The idea is that all the people seeing it will then go follow you on social media. So I have to pump out content more now than ever so that when they come to my socials i have things for them to watch and hopefully laugh at so i need to get back into the swing of things um so some things that i can show you guys i had to go get it that was really smart but i bought an ipad it was like an old generation so it was only like a couple hundred bucks and i bought it on black friday so several months ago but one really cool thing about getting the ipad was i wanted to use it for productivity and you guys know that i am such a huge planner and bullet journaler in terms of all of my daily to-do lists. So if you guys have seen in other vlogs, I make my own to-do list every day. I don't know if you could see it. I have this like paper screen protector on it, which means when I ride on it, it feels like paper and it's like palm resistant. So it's really cool. So I can do like handwritten notes like this. 
I don't know if you guys can see this. So it's like a regular journal, but on my iPad and digital. What's also really cool is that those bullet journal pages that I was going to the library to print, I can now use on this. Ugh, I did not plan this properly. And then I take my little Apple pencil. Come on. Oh, I gotta turn it on. Golly, <laughs> I'm a mess today. <sighs> I take my little Apple Pencil, which is a knockoff Apple Pencil. I'll leave it linked down below. It's just from Amazon. And I can cross off the items on my to-do list. And then every week I can just erase it and start over. So I really wanna get back into productivity. I really wanna get back into the swing of things. So that way I can have a very successful year. I really feel like this is my year, but I have to stay consistent and obviously put in the work and not be lazy. So I'm gonna go finish my makeup. I'm going to make a coffee. One last little thing. You know what it is? I'm on cinematic mode, hang on. So one last thing that's really funny is over the break, my Aunt Kathy, who has been in some of my main channel videos, I'll link it here, she got me <laughs> all of the BTS cold brews, which is so funny. Um, but the news here is that I have a bias change for those who care. I was a big Namjoon girl and I think I'm a Jimin girl now. He is just taking over all of my social media algorithm and I might be a Jimin girl. Um, but it's funny because I she sent me the whole collection of all of these cold brews, so I've been drinking them, but I just thought that was kind of funny. Okay, last update. Let me go get ready so I can film. So one other really cool thing about my iPad is now I have a little mini TV when I get ready. I have a screen protector that's a privacy screen protector on my phone. So a lot of times I can't even see my screen when I'm trying to watch a YouTube video, but now I get like a little mini TV, which is really cool. I'm watching the Illuminati. I pretty much only watch video essays on YouTube and this is about the downfall of Peloton. So if you like video essays, this is probably one of my favorite channels. So I'll leave it linked down below, but almost done with my makeup, but getting distracted by my little, my little screen here. So I finished filming and I got a lot of TikToks done. And one thing I will say about the show that I was on, I know that I haven't even said that much, but again, it was a reality competition show for content creators. I filmed for a month with some great content creators and I learned so much, but also the value of adding a little bit more of production value into your silly little 30 second videos. So I did make a couple of TikToks, but I had a little bit of pizzazz, a little bit more editing, and I like the direction. I learned a lot, I'm starting to incorporate it, and hopefully I'll see the benefits of that in views. But the next thing that I did was I set up these lights. So I had a pair of string lights on it, but half the bulbs kind of went out. So I went to go buy a new one. I ordered some from Amazon. I opened up the package and the bulbs were separate, which was kind of annoying because I thought they were gonna be more plasticky bulbs. I didn't read the reviews. I didn't read the description. So I spent about 10 minutes just kind of screwing in every light bulb. And then I spent about another 10 minutes hanging up the lights, making sure they kind of lined up and looked pretty good. I took back my beanbag chair and I have my little nook back for the remainder of the year. This spot is where I do most of my journaling, a lot of my meditation, reading. It's my little corner, so I'm glad I got some new lights and that they're all working, except for like this one. I don't know, I don't know what happened with that one, but here's the next thing we need to do. So like I mentioned for the show, I filmed all of December, 14 hour days, and then we had homework to go home and do. It was so much that I actually didn't have a spare second to buy Christmas presents for my family, which was really embarrassing because I had to go Christmas morning empty handed. And so I was receiving all these gifts, but not even giving them out. I felt so bad, but all my family understood. I kind of gave them IOUs, but now it is <laughs> early January and I'm wrapping Christmas presents, yay. So let me show you what I got my family and then I'll go ahead and wrap them. So first I'll start with the boyfriend. I got Rocky some JBL noise canceling headphones. He said he wanted some on-ear ones as well as a Viking chess set. Cause he likes chess, I suppose. I also have one more gift coming from him but it's not here yet. So I'll probably wrap these up and send him the other one when it gets in. It's from Etsy, so it might take a little bit longer. For my mom, I got her a new Fitbit. She's never had one. She said she wanted one, so I got her a Fitbit, and then the gift I already did give her was I renewed our season tickets for the ACFC women's soccer team here in LA, 
We had season tickets. It was so much fun. So I covered her season ticket as well as my dad's season ticket. And for my dad's other gift, we love Pink's hot dogs. Every time he comes out to LA, we always go to Pink's hot dogs. So I got him a shirt of the company. Also, if you don't know, uh, Pink's is a very historical place here in LA, so he'll really like this one, as well as $50 in gift certificates, which is really interesting because they're paper and they're only in like increments of 10, and it's just like printed. Oh, I shouldn't show you this in case like, mm, no, it's okay, but I won't show you, but they're like just printed on paper, which I thought was kind of interesting. For my brother, we actually decided to not exchange gifts this year. We are both financially poor <laughs> and so we're like hey let's just forego buying gifts for each other so i didn't get anything for him but my sister already got me gifts so i got her gifts as well but my gift isn't even a physical gift we will be going to paris this year which has been one of my lifetime bucket list things and she is going to help me accomplish it and i wanted to buy our plane tickets so since i didn't have anything to show for it off of Etsy, I bought these really cute designs. I think it was like $4 and it's just for the digital download. And then I sent the order to FedEx to get it printed on like nice cardstock. So really this was like $10 just for a little printed thing. I don't have a printer, but I wanted it on cardstock. But it says like it has, we're going to Paris and like our little boarding pass information. So I thought that was cute and a way to like open a physical gift. And then my dad got all three of us siblings. Also, there's a car honking outside. Can you hear that? Oh my gosh, they are not stopping. So I'm going to try to talk over it. My dad got all three of us siblings this goat sweater, which is Serena Williams, because we all admire her so much. And I'm just including this in the package with my sister. This one's from my dad, but I'm sending it on his behalf. So that's what I got everybody for Christmas. Again, we kind of went more low key with this Christmas, but I guess I'll wrap them up now. Hope you enjoyed listening to some Christmas music at the beginning of January because I guess now I'm done with Christmas time with these presents. But that's going to be it for this vlog. Thanks for coming with me as we reset, kind of reorganized everything and hopefully get our life back on track. I really do think... I don't know that this is my year. I feel like I say that every year, like I'll do my vision board, all my goal setting, and I'm like, this is my year. But like with this show coming out, with how motivated I am and in the fact that I'm settled into my routines and what I need to do in order to be successful, I think I think this is going to be my year. So I appreciate you guys following along and being here in the preliminary stages of me hopefully making this my career finally. So I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next vlog. Toodles!